Hey everyone, I'm Aaron Lorig Davis. I'm the founder of realestateframe.com and I'm putting together a little tutorial on how to use Dropbox for real estate. I uh, did an interview a couple days ago with John Crow of Crow Homes and uh, he was saying that one of the tools that he just can't live without is Dropbox uh, for its simplicity, its ease of use and um, the ability to access any of his files from anywhere at any time, whether he's in the office, on his phone, what have you. So I'm putting together a little tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get Dropbox on your computer. Um, here I'm looking, I'm using Google Chrome uh, for my web browser. You can use any web browser, but you go to dropbox.com and it's very simple. You download Dropbox and here you see it's downloading, you know, it, it's doing it for me. Uh, down here you'll see I'm, I'm going to keep it or discard it. So I'm going to cut the video, I'm going to install it, and then we're going to come back. So the, the instructions are very, very simple uh, on how to install it in your computer for an app or for a Mac. You just drag it to the applications folder for a, uh, for a PC, a window with Windows. You might just, you just click install and it adds a folder to your computer. Okay. So I'm going to assume that you've done that, you've downloaded it. Of course, it's free. Uh, there's premium versions and everything, but you can use it starting tonight for free. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to have a folder on your computer that's, it, that is your Dropbox folder. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is I'm just going to find a document. This is the Natural Hazards Disclosure, and I've got that here on a folder on my computer. I'm going to open up my Dropbox folder. And I did that kind of quick. So up here uh, on a Mac, it's up here. There's a little little Dropbox. Uh, I'm going to open Dropbox folder. If I'm adding a file that's going to be shared, it needs to go in the public folder. And I actually created a folder inside that for real estate docs specifically. I'm going to open that up. And then I'm going to go here. to This is the, the uh, folder on my computer. I'm going to select it, drag it there. While it's updating, if it's a bigger file, it might take a little bit longer, but while it's provisioning, you'll see here, um, it's got a, uh, it's got a little blue arrows and that means that it's uploading to your Dropbox folder. But now that it's there, it's got a, uh, it's got a green check mark. That means that everything is reconciled and all your docs are in the right place. And I'm going to control click Dropbox, copy public link. You see how I did that? Dropbox, copy public link. On a PC, you're going to right click and it's going to give you the same, uh, same menu. So I'm going to copy the public link. Done that. I'm going to go back here to my email. Now I use Gmail for my email. but um, So I'm, I'm going to make an email. So we're going to go to john at escrow.com uh, natural As your disclosure, John, please find me. At the link below. Command V, and that's to uh, that's to paste. If you're on a, on a PC, it's going to be right click and then paste. So. Um, the link to the file that you wish to share that you just copied uh, from your Dropbox folder is now a shareable link. And so I'm going to include that. Please print and add. And that's it. Please print and add to my file. And then I'm going to send it. Send it. It's done. Now I've shared a document with him. So that he can, um, so that he can print it. He can, he can have clients sign it. Whatever the case may be, and this, this works for if you're sending it to escrow, mortgage, uh, your, uh, uh, an agent that you're working with, your clients, whomever. It's really, really useful to be able to have access to those files, share them accordingly, and, and remember, the only person that has that link is him. And then as soon as I take that file out of that out of my Dropbox, it's no longer there. It's great for privacy and security. Um, so there's lots of features that you can you can delve deeper into it. But the essence of it is just that simple. You take a document from a file or from a folder on your computer, 
You copy it into your Dropbox folder and it's done. Now you can share it, you can do whatever you need to with it. And the nice thing about it is you can access this from anywhere. You can do it from your home computer. You can do it from your cell phone uh, when you're on the go. Uh, if you're overseas or you're traveling and you need to go to a, a um, an internet cafe, you don't even need to install Dropbox on that computer. You just visit the Dropbox website, you log in, you share those documents however you see fit and you're off to the next spot so um, i hope this, this little tutorial has been helpful if you got any questions please feel free to ask uh, send me an email at realestateframe at gmail.com or uh, or visit the site and comment in the blog post so um, i'm aaron Laurie davis this is realestateframe.com thanks so much for tuning in take good care